100. It is a concept PC from Toshiba. Uh, this really demonstrates our ability to continue to innovate. It's our 25th anniversary year, so we did want to reintroduce Libretto um, as a testament to what we can really still do uh, to innovate mobility driven design. Now, now, I know you guys have been calling it a concept, but you also sort of have a release date for it. Uh, is it coming do. to market? So we are, it is coming to market. It's coming to market in limited quantities, but it will be out on the market. Uh, it will be out on the market later this summer. Clearly, you know, there's, there's a fairly large uh, hinge in between the two, so you're not going to like want to look at a picture across both screens, but you can... No, I mean, it really does shine, and if you wanted to look at your pictures, run a photo of slideshow up here, but still surf the internet down here. So, you know, if you're a your heavy multitasker, this is a really great device. It's sort of like having two monitors on a desktop, except... Right, yeah. right. And because it's Windows, you don't have to repurchase your applications. It just, you know, kind of works with all the other uh, Windows uh, laptops in your in your home. Can you uh, bring up the keyboard? Sure. The keyboard is actually where this uh, where this device really shines. We offer not one keyboard, we offer six different keyboards. Um, so this way you can hold device. it in, in two hands right. like you're so doing now. Right, all I did was uh, click on this keyboard button, uh, allows really quick, easy access to the keyboard. And then from there I can, I'm able to toggle through the keyboard selection and find the one that I want. So I can find the one that best fits my personal style or best fits the occasion. So we even give you this is a really great keyboard mode. We call this a split thumb key mode, um, but really for holding it like this. So if you're walking and, and uh, you know wanted to type, <laughs> you have the capability to do that. And uh, is it a capacitive touchscreen? Can it recognize two and push at once? Yes, it can. It can. Uh, so. And then we also, in addition to the keyboard, we also give you a virtual touchpad. So if you have an application that maybe required a mouse to be there, or you just wanted the flexibility of going back to what you know, um, you can simply call that from the menu item. Although it's got to be, it's not quite as easy as a full size. You can't just move your hand from one to the other. It covers no, up part of the keyboard. right, right. So, right, it does. But if you just need the touchpad, that'll work. And if you, otherwise, you could have the keyboard here and touch the screen there. Right, right. Um, does that have haptic feedback? It does. Yeah. So the keys, and I'll let you try it out, and you let me know how it feels to you. Um, but the haptic feedback is really great. I mean, it just, you know, it's our way of ensuring that the user gets a, you know, better, more accurate typing experience. And, and who do you see? Uh, as the target market for a device like this? I know it's sort of a niche product. Yeah, I mean, definitely we don't see this as, you know, ready for mass consumption today. Um, Libretto is a concept brand for us, so, you know, we're hoping that early adopters, uh, you know, consumers out there that are advanced users willing to take a chance on new technologies, uh, that's really who our target market is for this, and we want them to get this, to get this into their hands, really to get their feedback, uh, which we will take and filter through behind making sort of the first device like this from Toshiba a 7-inch device as opposed to a 10-inch or 12-inch? Um, we just thought, you know, we really wanted to kind of push the boundaries on what we could do in small form factor computing. Um, we could have gone with the 10-inch slate, but what we 